Hi, I'm Bittersweet, and I'm here today to talk a little bit more about the ports or the Metaport catheter and what to expect if you find out you have to get one. I've already talked a little bit about the role it plays in chemotherapy and how important it is, but today I want to talk a little bit about what to do when you find out you have to get one and what to expect. Um, first of all, the ports are very small. I was picturing a big like Iron Man device. I had no idea. I didn't know anybody who'd had one before. I'd never seen one for sure. So the unknown was really what caused me the most anxiety. So it turns out that it's very small. Mine was a double. I'm gonna show you a picture of it. It looks a little bit like a contact case. And as you can see, there's two chambers right here and a tube that goes up through your body and connects just above your heart. Some people also have a single, as I said. This is where mine was put in. Right here, they made a small little incision. They completely submerge it, submerge it below your skin. And the little tube goes up to here where there's a secondary incision. And then it connects just above your heart. It sounds worse than it is. <laughs> it's actually a very, very simple outpatient procedure. Sometimes your surgeon will do it in combination with a lumpectomy. And sometimes they'll do it as a standalone procedure in an outpatient surgery center or a hospital, depending on your market and where you live and where your surgeon operates out of. So for me, I did the same time as a lumpectomy, and usually they put your ports on the opposite side of where you have surgery. So mine was put here, very, very simple. It's about a 15 to 20 minute procedure, and it really doesn't hurt so much. When you come home, it's a little bit tender, so I would suggest having a couple bags of frozen peas on hand, one for the freezer and one to keep on your body. It just, peas are great because you can move the bag around and you can kind of mold it to your body shape and size. And it's also nice because it's a little difficult to sleep. It is tender. So for me, or if you have surgery, mine was on my left side. So sleeping on my left side really hurt. And so I'd go to sleep on my right side and the port would kind of push in against your ribs a little bit. So the peas kind of help to buffer that, but they also help to kind of numb the area and just offer you some relief. So I would definitely suggest getting the peas. Um, the other thing I was worried about is like, okay, so now I have it and it's completely under my skin. You don't see it, which is great, other than it looks, you know, it sticks out about a half inch. Um, you know, that part was a little disconcerting, but you get really used to it. My other concern was, what am I going to do when I go to chemotherapy? How are they going to hook me up? So I'm going to show you a picture of that too. This was me actually getting my first treatment. And if you can see, it's very, very simple. My port is right here, and they just have a needle. I think it's probably not showing real well in the video, so I apologize. But basically what they do is they will swab off the area, and they will take a needle, and they just inject the needle right into the port, but you really don't feel a thing at all. There's no um, like blood, and nothing is coming out. Um, the minute they take the needle out, it's totally smooth. Your skin is fine. You don't even need a Band-Aid. Like, they do put one on just for the first 24 hours to have it, but you don't even need it. It's really simple, really easy. So then when it's time to get your port out after you're all done with chemotherapy, some doctors recommend that you wait until after radiation if you need to do radiation. That way if you get dehydrated, um, which can happen, it's really easy for them to access it. Or if you need blood work, depending on um, your surgeon's protocol or your chemotherapy doctor's protocol, it's just a lot easier to access it through a port. So for me, I waited until I was done with radiation and had it removed. Some people wait even longer, and some people have it done right after chemotherapy. It's really between you, your oncologist, and your surgeon, what works best for you. But when it is time to come out, again, it's so easy. It's a quick 15, 20 minute outpatient procedure. Um, I did have a friend drive me and pick me up, and I did rest the rest of the day, because it is surgery. It's small, but it's surgery. But by the next day, I was right back to working out, no bandages, just a little tiny band-aid, that was it. Um, so I hope that demystifies it for you a little bit. I know there's nothing earth shattering medically um, relevant here that I'm talking about, but it hopefully does take away a little bit of your anxiety of what to expect, what it's going to look like, and what little procedures are like. So, thanks.